Hi, my name is Rob. Uh, today I'll be giving a presentation on the climatic and environmental status of Bangkok and Hat Pixel. I'll be focusing on um, the national environment and climate. So uh, first, let's just address the issue. What are we fixing? Well, we're fixing pollution, and right now Bangkok has a moderate air quality level that fluctuates around between um, 79 and 92 on the air quality index. And this is caused mainly by cars, buses, boats that release the carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse effect which traps heat, uh, it retains heat, and that has a direct effect on climate because heat cannot like escape back from, into space from the atmosphere. So that, that those are uh, some problems. And another problem is the lack of motivation to visit green spaces and go outdoors in general. And there are also lack of green spaces. We'll come back to that later. So these are my research sub questions. What is the current status of the pollution levels in certain areas of Bangkok? This tells me um, how the how the pollution levels are. Uh, what might be impacting that, and how could we fix this? How has it changed over the years? Like here, what is the climate like, and how has it changed over the years? We can see what differences have come over the years. Like I know in 1990, the number of cars, uh, well, I know the pollution was significantly higher. And th th what factors may have contributed to Bangkok's present natural environment and climate? So we could look at some of the factors in my um, system search, which, which we'll come back to later. So this is my MISO. Uh, in media, I found that the air quality has drastically improved compared to 20 years ago in 1990. And it, it, I quote, Bangkok used to be blanketed in fog. At the start of 2017, Bangkok registered 300,000 new vehicles, including buses, uh, no, yeah, motorcycles, cars, and I believe buses. Nearly 9.5 million registered vehicles are present there in the city of Bangkok. And I quote, Glinda Bathan Tarina, the deputy executive director of the Manila-based NGO, Clean Air Asia, said this. The real solution is looking at a mass transport system that can bring massive numbers of people in and out of the city while encouraging them to leave their vehicles at home. Vehicles at home. Public transport. So, as I mentioned earlier, 78 on the air quality index. And you can see prime areas like Ranchilla, Longford Hospital, Silong tend to have a much higher air quality index value. Uh, some observations that I made uh, during the observation walk is that boats on the Kong got a lot of pollution. So there, as I mentioned earlier, more pollution prime areas. Uh, there are a lot of meat snacks around the streets, and a lot of resources are necessary to raise that quantity of livestock. Uh, a lot of development is in progress. The Kong used to be lighter in color. I remember this from year seven. And now it's much darker, it's browner. And one, one positive observation I made, some, something very great. A change that Pat and Bank was already making is that in the toilets in the Metro Mall, there's a charge for the tissue. They're trying to make a positive impact on the environment by reducing the waste. And there's also a lack of trash cans on the street. So, well, people can't be bothered to hold trash for 10 minutes on end, so they just dump it on the street. There must be an abundance of waste disposal uh, facilities. And, yeah. So, this is my systems map. So, start. Oh, what is this? Okay, anyway. Um, what is this? Whoa. So, um, natural environment. The two main factors that uh, impact the natural environment and climate are transportation, pollution, and waste. So, um, I want to encourage people to use private transport and give up gasoline cars because less people buy gasoline cars. Uh, I mean, if there's a lower, pr um, sorry, we we should reduce the price for uh, electric cars by putting more tax on gasoline cars and diesel cars and increasing the price for them so that people would either buy less cars or shift to electricity. We must create infrastructure to support and promote bicycles as they have no. Um, Outputs, environmental outputs that impact the negative, uh, the environment in an adverse manner. Uh, less gasoline cars will be registered, and more taxes will be collected. Therefore, we have funds to create that infrastructure too. Um, we have connected this to electricity. Uh, the main forms of public transportation include boats um, that need fuel, petrol, and uh, diesel, any type of fossil fuels. Buses, taxis, and uh, yeah, and then there's trains which use like the BTS and the MRT that are electric, but there are power plants that must produce that electricity that might cause air pollution. So we must look into that too. Uh, ways to create clean, renewable, sustainable energy. Uh, you tend to leave a uh, lower carbon footprint uh, when you're using electric services, and I also hope that Bangkok will make their bus system electric by replacing diesel petrol buses with um, electricity. Now, other forms of trans um, public transportation uh, have a very adverse impact on the environment as they let out a lot of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Um, now, we'll also look at pollution and waste. Uh, so, I noticed that there is a great lack of waste disposal uh, services, and Klong is extremely polluted because people walking along on the garbage cans put their trash in. I have experienced this, but I have not thrown a trash in the car. Uh, there is a lack of garbage cans, uh, and as I mentioned earlier in the Metro Mall, they charge for tissue paper, and that is a reduction of waste. Now I'm getting back to this presentation. Let's look at what we're already doing. We are converting buses to run biofuels. Uh, we are developing infrastructure to support and promote travel on bicycles rather than cars, boats, and buses. I have started to notice infrastructure that um, allows you to park your bicycles. There is roadside inspection for smoky cars. There are public campaigns that include um, like promoting carpooling, a car-free day, walking street, and there's a control of vehicle emissions. They put different colored bins everywhere for different types of waste. They're still working on this. There are not many, as I mentioned earlier, but they're working on it. And that promotes recycling. Recycling is a great concept. I love it. We use recycling. So I'll come back to that later. Uh, what are other cities doing? Well, many other cities, like Munich and Mexico City, are taking steps towards a clean, green, and livable environment. 
Fallen Cities are just two of the endless examples that Bangkok could have, uh, that Bangkok could derive an inspiration from. So, New Mexico at one point was the most polluted city in the entire world. Mexico City took the Air Quality Award for Pro Air. Program, it's a program that has reduced carbon dioxide emissions and air pollution over the last 20 years. This reduced the vehicle emissions and it proves that vision and understanding, and understanding can significantly improve air quality. Mexico also has a smog eating building. Pretty interesting. I believe they have one in Shanghai too. And drivers are, this is actually a pretty interesting concept that could be implemented, implemented in Bangkok too. Drivers are taxed for driving on major roads during heavy traffic hours. Uh, yeah. Now let's look at Munich, Germany. Munich Airport generates a great quantity of energy in an insight <laughs> combined heat, power, and cooling plant. This form of energy conversion allows the airport to save around 30,000 metric tons of carbon emissions annually. Yearly. Munich Airport is currently running 115 vehicles on diesel, vegetable oil mix, and 39 on bioethanol gas. In conclusion, well, we can switch to biofuels or electricity, uh, promote public transportation, promote walking and biking, increase the amount of garbage disposal, disposal services per square kilometer, learn to repair rather than discard. That is, uh, well, upcycling. Very cool concept that promotes creativity and upcycling in order to reduce waste. Reuse things. So, reduce, reuse, recycle. We've been told this from the very start, and, well, we can finally see how important it is, and how these three, wor three words mean so much. Oh, this is my bibliography.